The village of East Millstone is home to one of New Jersey's most valuable historic resources, the Franklin Inn. This white frame building has witnessed the history of Franklin Township since a Dutch farmer named Cornelius Van Loo settled near the Millstone River in 1756. During the American Revolution, his farm was raided not once but twice by General Cornwallis' troops, and during the Canal Era, the house was converted into a hotel and tap room. In the 20th century, the building housed many different businesses, including a beloved bookstore. Privately owned, the building's importance has been largely overlooked. It survives only because a handful of preservation-minded volunteers have cared for it. But now, this witness to history is in trouble. The inn, as it's affectionately called, is easily identifiable by its blue center door, topped by a four-light transom. If you view the two windows to the left of the door, you'll be seeing the oldest part of the building. Many an historic structure has buried within them an even older original building, and so it is with the Franklin Inn. The house was originally a two-room, one-and-a-half story farmhouse built by Cornelius Van Loo in the mid-18th century. He built it on land given to him by his father, who had inherited a greater parcel of land from his father, who emigrated from the Netherlands in 1670. When the Dutch settled in New York in the early 1600s, they came not as political refugees or to escape religious persecution, but solely for reasons of commerce. They were here to make money, and that they did, but they also had to eat. Manhattan Island was becoming increasingly densely populated, so their farms began growing up on the land surrounding the island. Bronx, Brooklyn, Staten Island, all are names derived from the Dutch. Dutch farmers soon sought lands in New Jersey and came to what is now Franklin Township. Cornelius may have chosen this site for his new home because it was close to a bridge over the Millstone River, but he would have also found a number of other Dutch farming families in the area. The Sedams, the Wyckoffs, the Van Dynes, Van Cleefs, and Van Wickels. Cornelius and his wife Andy were active members of the Dutch Reformed Church just across the river in the settlement known as Somerset Courthouse. Surviving documents indicate that they were generous supporters of what is now the Hillsborough Reformed Church. The Van Loos had seven children, and the farm was thriving when the American Revolution erupted, almost literally around them. Washington's troops were encamped at Middlebrook, not far from present-day Route 287 in Bridgewater. Hessian soldiers raided the Van Loo farmhouse twice, once in March and again in June of 1777. They took wagons full of grain and livestock, and even boards from the barn to build redoubts to defend the road to New Brunswick, as the Van Loo family hid from their attackers. Cornelius died that same year, but his widow, Annie, filed a claim with the government for reparations. Her list of the items stolen survives in the New Jersey State Archives in Trenton. By 1793, the Van Loo heirs had divided off parcels of the original property and sold what remained of the farmstead to Henry Disborough. Disborough owned property in the community, but did not reside there. He expanded the house by 28 feet to the east, adding a hallway, two additional rooms, and eventually a kitchen wing with a wonderful hearth. The front doorway entrance with the four-light transom above was painted blue as an indication of his prosperity. If you walk around the back of the building, you will see the shed roof over an original Dutch door, and another original Dutch door that was the back entrance to the central hallway. Henry Disborough died in 1810, and his heirs eventually sold the land, which included all the land that is currently East Millstone, to John Wyckoff, giving the village its original name of Johnsville. In 1834, when the Delaware and Raritan Canal was about to open, John V. C. Wyckoff, purchased the house and converted it into a hotel by literally raising the roof. The added second floor was comprised of seven irregularly shaped rooms. Fragments of wallpaper and ghosts of room numbers can still be seen. On the first floor, the front room of the east side became a tap room, and the entrance door was created to host a robust tavern business. The tap room lasted until Prohibition. At some point, a covered porch that extended the length of the front of the building was also added. Ground floor rooms in the hotel were used for village meetings. In 1876, Matthew Sedam, the great-great-grandfather of Robin Sedam and her brother, Wright, gathered with other farmers to form an insurance company. Franklin Farmers Mutual Assurance Association still operates today in Branchville, New Jersey. 
Ownership of the inn passed to Wyckoff Farms, and in the 20th century, the first floor housed various businesses, including a feed store, antique shop, and a barber shop. In 1940, the building was considered important enough to have been included in the Historic American Building Survey. Detailed drawings of every aspect of the building were executed, including floor plans, hardware, and architectural details. In the 1980s, a group of early township preservationists, the Blackwells Mills Canal House Association, became concerned about the deterioration of such an important building. In 1991, the association secured a 20-year lease from the present owners, Thomas and Gary Anka, and established a used bookstore that housed some 10,000 books. The business met with great success, and by 2005, Franklin Township was considering buying the inn to add to its inventory of historic properties. The township received a grant from Somerset County to have an historic resources survey done. But good news soon turned to bad. It was discovered that the sill on the northwest corner of the building was so rotted that the structure was not habitable. Furthermore, the weight of the books was exacerbating the problem. They had to be removed and have since been discarded. Another blow came to the inn from Hurricane Irene. While the bookstore had been flooded before by Hurricane Floyd in 1999, it was able to be restored to its charming self by dedicated volunteers. But after Irene in 2011, sheetrock had to be removed and was not replaced. A great deal of historic fabric has been lost. Today, the survivor of wars and floods, a building that spans the history of Franklin Township, is suffering from deterioration by neglect. It can and should be saved, not only because of its history, but its superb location. The inn is bordered by the DNR Canal State Park and the county-owned Colonial Park. It is located in the historic village of East Millstone and is just across the river from the equally historic village of Millstone, both of which are on the state and national registers of historic places. As a gateway building, a structure can be repurposed for public use. It could be a museum, a business that supports recreational activities such as a bicycle shop, or even a used bookstore again. A building with the unparalleled history of the Franklin Inn deserves to be saved and needs your help. Please contact the Franklin Inn Van Lu Homestead Association with your ideas and suggestions to help save this important historic resource. Together, we can ensure that the Franklin Inn enjoys new purpose on into the 21st century.